Hey what's up guys, it's the Tech Wally, and if you were wondering what the intro was, that was me using the app called Flutter. If you don't know what Flutter is, Flutter is an app that exists for Windows 7 and above and Mac OS X 10.6 and above, and it uses your webcam to control your media using gestures. So this is my full review of the Flutter app. So it works like this. It has three basic commands, that's all it does, but it does a lot of things. So it uses the webcam to recognize your hand, then it will analyze the picture, and then read the control. So the three commands are sort of a high five gesture to play or pause your media, then there's go next and go back. There's one tutorial, um, so it says that you need to be one to six feet away and it doesn't require any movement and that's it. So it's really easy to use. There's a extension that shows up in the taskbar on Windows and from there you can control everything. Flutter works with the following apps on Mac OS X. Uh, you use iTunes, Spotify, QuickTime, Google Chrome, you know, to be LC, and many more. On the other hand, on Windows, it is compatible with Groovesharp, Netflix, Pandora, PowerPoint, Spotify, VLC, Winamp, Windows Media Player, YouTube, and iTunes. This is a startup that was created in 2010 and 2012 it won the best app on the App Store award. Flutter also has been recently acquired by Google. Here you have an example of me using it on Spotify. So I must say it works really really well. Um, some little errors where it just doesn't recognize it as you can also see in the footage. However, um, overall it works just great. I mean I just had little errors and some really false recognition that was a little annoying so when I just actually didn't do any command and like skip three songs that was a little annoying but that was really really rare so I'm really impressed with it on the bottom of the screen it always shows you what you're doing so the either it says play pause or forwards or backward as I mentioned already it also works with YouTube for example on Chrome it works well play and pause however what I did notice that it didn't work with skipping to the next video or going backwards even when I was in the playlist so I don't know what's the error with that but maybe they're just gonna fix that it also works on Windows Media Player music and videos uh, both works great. I mean all programs work equally well. Um, one thing that was really awesome for me is the use of PowerPoint. Uh, I think that's really convenient. Start the slideshow, then next slide, backwards slide, and stopping the slideshow. It is also really convenient that it switches through apps. For example, if you go to the Spotify window and click on it then it will automatically control Spotify if you go back to for example YouTube then it will control YouTube and you can also pick a preferred app overall I'm a huge fan of this program I love it it is a genius invention I was so amazed by this technology when I first saw this a couple of days ago I can really understand that Google um, bought this company for the future I would love to see um, maybe some more apps but we already have have a lot of compatible programs and maybe a little more commands like volume up and volume down that will be great I can really recommend it to any anybody if you want to download this program I will have links to it in the description down below thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please feel free to give it a thumbs up down below and to follow me on Twitter link is in the description down below also, there are a lot more awesome videos that are being uploaded in the next couple of weeks. So definitely subscribe to not miss any of these upcoming videos. See you in the next one. Bye.